This morning, I'd like to greet you from the Schoenchurch Shrine here on Palm Sunday. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sister Elizabeth, and my task is to work with and for the Schoenstatt movement in Australia. So I'd like to greet all of our Schoenstatt family and members and friends in Perth, in Melbourne, in Sydney and New South Wales and in Queensland. Today on Palm Sunday, we begin the great Holy Week. Let us do it together with our Lord and the Blessed Mother. Today I'm beginning a, ref a set of reflections during each day of Holy Week, sharing with you thoughts from Father Kentonik, the Schoenstatt's founder, in homilies that he gave in Milwaukee during his time of exile there. But before we begin the reflection, I'd like to begin with a prayer to the Blessed Mother, a prayer written by Father Kentonik in Dachau at the beginning of the Stations of the Cross. Let me joyfully embrace the cross with him and fearlessly go the ways of inscriptio, that as his bride I become like the bridegroom, fruitful as an instrument for his Schoenstatt realm. I ask you, Mother Thrice Admirable, to let me look deeply into our Saviour's heart and in the midst of an ocean of brimming hate to let me stand at his side with the warmth of your love. Amen. On Palm Sunday in 1964, Father Kentonik shared with his um, congregation there in Milwaukee. Palm Sunday arrived. He entered. He seated himself on the small colt he is the first burden the cult carries, and his apostles understood him. They spread their cloaks on the cult. And the people? What kind of people were they? We attempted to say they were just rabble. They were not the upper classes. The simple people shouted in praise, Hosanna, Hosanna. The high priests. The Pharisees wanted to kill him, but we shout, Hosanna. He should be protected, he should do well. Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our Lord himself was solemnly asked, are you a king? His answer, yes, I am a king. He goes even further. He solemnly acknowledges to be the Son of God. Therefore, the question, to whom shall we surrender ourselves with our whole personality at Easter? We renew our baptismal promises and we say, my whole being and nature belongs to Christ, the Son of God. With Peter, we want to profess, truly, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And this Son of the living God also comes to us in Holy Communion. Just at this time, during the coronavirus, we may not be able to receive Holy Communion. Father Kentonik's following words may be a cause to deepen our longing for our loving God and Saviour. He continued in the homily, Jesus wants to come into our hearts. He would like to occupy the throne of our hearts. How does he come? Concealed in the cloak of lowliness with the blessing of immortality. How often in the past we heard three expressions mentioned together, crib, cross and altar. And the word was made flesh. The eternal God became man. He assumed a lowly nature, not merely human nature, but the helpless nature of a child. Yes, he hangs on the cross where his divinity is even more concealed. And in the tabernacle, he even assumes the form of bread and wine. Who is this? Our natural eyes see only loneliness, but the eye of faith discovers under this form the God-man, 
the eternal, infinite God, who out of love for us became a human being. Hosanna to the son of David, we should and want to cry out to him again and again, as often as we receive him into our hearts under the form of bread. This act of faith can also be expressed when we are forced to receive our Lord spiritually. So let us use the time of isolation, which many of us are in, to receive in faith our loving God. Father continues, we want to remember that Christ, when he comes into our hearts, hidden under the form of bread, he subdues the fire of our passions, gives us strength to resist the attacks of grave sin and gives us a new title to immortality to the resurrection of our body. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood will have a life eternal. So let us today cry out in praise, Hosanna into him who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen.